Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. In a rare opportunity, we were able to follow up on a previous breaking story about a misconduct charge against the Perth Mint. Let's explore! Yes, indeed, Perth Mint Probe finds no serious misconduct in overseas gold scandal. You may remember I posted a video earlier about how the Perth Mint has been charged with being associated with uh, buying some conflict gold, or, you know, dirty gold is what's considered out there. But uh, YouTuber uh, Super Zero, who actually lives in Perth, um, is up on the news, and it's a pretty big deal out there in this breaking situation here, and this follow-up from that uh, probe. And uh, this comes to us from abc.net.au, and uh, this is fascinating indeed, and really, in a sense, not surprising. Uh, as some of you have posted in the comments, and I may have even alluded to it as well, that, uh, you know, everybody's under the microscope, and, uh, you know, certainly a company is big as Perth Mint, you know, they're going to be extra careful because they're under such scrutiny in that regard. An investigation into the purchasing practices of the Perth Mint has not found any examples of serious misconduct by the state government-owned metal refiner. So, in other words, they may have found some non-serious misconduct, but we'll see what this means. The Perth Mint, which refines more than 90% of the gold mined in the country of Australia and Asia, welcomed the findings by the London Bullion Market Association. The findings followed newspaper reports in June that claimed the Perth Mint had been spending up to $200 million a year on conflict gold from a convicted killer in Papua New Guinea. The Australian Financial Review reported the dealings with PNG firm Golden Valley, owned by Justin Parker, who was convicted of manslaughter in 2017, breached the Mint's global accreditation and internal policies. The London Bullion Market Association took, said it took the allegations very seriously, but its investigation found no instances of zero tolerance and non Conformance. Yes, indeed. Here we see a picture of Australia. It's the world's second biggest gold producer behind China. I didn't know that. They're the second biggest gold producer behind uh, China, which we know is first. The association said the Mint's risk assessment processes need to be strengthened and has reserved the right to revisit its findings if new information came to light. There are elements of the Perth Mint's risk assessment, which need to be strengthened through the corrective action plan to be audited by a third-party auditor, the association said in a statement. The previous auditor is no longer approved, and the Perth Mint will be required to use a new approved service provider to carry out the audit. The corrective action plan will address the weaknesses in the application of the Perth Mint's management systems. For example, the Papua New Guinea-based counterparty was identified as medium risk rather than high risk. Look at there. You may remember this being the largest gold coin ever produced in the world, the red kangaroo, a one ton of four nines pure gold that had to be cast. Amazing. You've probably seen that video. Perth Mint Richard Hayes, who is pictured right here, um, he welcomed the findings, and here he is with some of Perth Mint's gold bullion bars. Fascinating indeed. Um, he said that the auditors had been replaced, and the Mint no longer sourced gold from artisanal small-scale mining operations in Papua New Guinea. The review has been a worthwhile exercise, Mr. Hayes said in a statement. We remain committed to upholding the highest ethical standards. The announcement comes days... After the gold price broke, uh, $2,000 an ounce barrier for the first time. The Perth Mint ranks as Australia's oldest gold refiner. It was established in 1899 as a branch of the Royal Mint in London to refine gold from Western Australia's newly discovered gold fields in Kalgoorlie. 
According to its annual report, the Perth Mint refined 27.4 million ounces of gold and silver door in the 2018 and 2019 financial year, with coins, medallions, and bars valued at $1.02 billion that have been sold. And you think about that number compared to the debt, the national debt here in the United States, on deficit spending, it's crazy. Seems like a drop in the bucket. In March, the Perth Mint announced that for the first time, the value of its gold, silver, and platinum holdings stored on behalf of clients from around the world had topped $5 billion. Wow. So that's just what it stored. The assets under management equate to almost 50 tons of fine gold and 1,020 tons of fine silver. So they're storing silver there too. Very interesting indeed. So that should... People should be able to rest easy on their pillows at night when they buy a silver or gold coin with, from the Perth Mint or any of the dealers that carry their products. Fascinating indeed. Yes, indeed. And good news, really, because it is a trusted, they're a very high quality company for sure. Uh, I know that many of us have been touched by their products, and we've touched their products for sure, many of them or. I uh, admire them through a capsule, such as what I have right here, holding in my hand, silver and gold. Perthman has exceptional quality, so it's welcome news. and like to see them continue to produce so that we can buy for sure out there. I just looked here, and it looks like uh, Kitco is finally getting word of this. Just, just posted hours ago, uh, talking about this. Basically, a lot of the same types of things I saw in the other story, but starting to make uh, inroads among the precious metal outlets out there, but uh, it's good to see a uh, company being cleared of this wrongdoing. It's a very interesting news indeed, and I'm glad because usually stories like this I don't get follow-up on. You know, sometimes I may forget six months down the road uh, to look and see because these things don't typically make um, headline news. So stories like this tend to get buried, and of course this is Australian news, but thankfully... Uh, Super Zero out there was very kind to send this to me so that I can report it to you. That's a follow-up to the previous story. If you're not familiar with the charges, I will link to that story at the end screen of this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.